Hello. Uh, my name is Olga Petrakova. Olga Petrakova. Uh, I am with uh, ARTEL, which stands for American Russian Theater Ensemble Laboratory, as well as it is an old Russian word for collective, uh, for um, originally labor collective, and um, labor is. Um, Theater is our labor of love, and in more ways than one. Um, our company was formed, uh, our company originated um, over five years ago, um, but Artel in its present form uh, has been around now for four years. Um, American and Russian cultures are juxtaposed, compared, blended together, fused, dissected, present a wealth of material to create with. And that has been, as, as Russian and American, where I spend now half of my life, um, that became a big question, a, a lens, a large lens to investigate humanity and theater is um, theater is the tool with which I dissect humanity and put a lens on it. If I look at America today and I put a Russian lens on it, 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 it develops the type of information that um, can only be discovered through theater. Tell me specifically uh, a little bit about your Bulgakov uh, show. Project. Yeah. Um, Bulgakov project was actually, in many ways, uh, as much as it is, uh, Bulgakov one of, is one of my favorite writers, and uh, it was very easy to um, to infect Americans with Bulgakov. <laughs> It was no effort at all. It was also um, uh, a, a wonderful pretense to um, investigate Russia and to entice Americans in, in our group, which we had 11 at the time, to understand Russia in ways that that are very close to me. And, and my goal was how, how can I approximate the experience of being Russian or understanding Russia in the United States. So the Bulgakov project forced us to read um, Orlando Figues, uh, Figues um, History of Russia, History of the Revolution, Natasha's Dance, um, um, a People's Tragedy, um, works of Bulgakov from his short stories to his full uh, length works to his plays. Uh, to um, to to look at it not through oh this is this is what happened in Russia but to really understand this is what happens with humanity this is what happens when we as human beings uh, allow things to go too far whether it's uh, becoming too equal in our rights or becoming too intelligent or becoming too free or becoming too structured yeah it was it was an amazing opportunity to look at Russia and see what's common to us especially in the eight years of um, Bush administration and us creating in the last four years of it it, it really was a uh, surreal time. <laughs> it was, you know, diabolical. <laughs> so it was, yeah. It that's that was the goal.